Hello everybody and welcome to Train Sim World 2. Today we are here at uh, East Croydon and as you can probably see from the front of the train um, we're going we are going to to Brighton uh, we're going all the way to Brighton I thought I'd have a have a bash on this because you know why not um, get the train set up straight out of the, uh, out of the Got the doors. Um, I did the lights tonight. Yep. Day, night, brightness, a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, we're going to take this unit from here at East Croydon to Brighton, stopping at Gatwick, Haywards Heath, Burgess Hill, Hassocks, Preston Park and Brighton, which is all of the stations on the fast lines. Um, there's a little bit of AI coming down, but I made this myself, so there's not too, too much. Um, But it should be a good chance to uh, to thrash this thing a bit, um, and then at some point I'll have a look at uh, at a bit more AC mode stuff. Also, we're in this um, old Thameslink uh, Thameslink program livery, which was applied to the um, to the class three one nine. What's the starting speed limit? 50. Okay, that's all good. It's quite a nice livery. I think it works on the uh, 700s quite well. Come on, stop being a bridge. There you go. Is this side better? Nope. So yeah, we got a clear run all the way into Gatwick Airport and see the uh, 37, uh, 377 that's just taken off on us. Now these 700s, they're, I'm not sure if it's the physics or if they're just really blunt at accelerating. It's pretty... I'm going to drop the frame rate unless I already have what I want. It's uh, advanced settings. Max FPS. 60. Yes, accept. That way, hopefully, it's not as bad. The stutter. Right, we'll take the 377 here after it's stopped. It's not a... Um, huge win for the 700 and it's literally it's stopped anyway there's 60 miles an hour and we're coming up on 90 so we'll power up then lovely I do like this route with the enhancement packs. It's very nice. Looks spectacular. And um, the timetable's super busy, which is very fun as well. All right, there's 70 miles an hour. All the way up to 19. We gotta go through the quarry lines as well. And these trains, they're fucking slow to accelerate. I mean, they really are. Uh, I'm gonna drop the volume as well on the uh, game because that's a little bit loud. Um. Also, I noticed a few of you were commenting on my uh, audio volume, and that is something that um, I acknowledge, I agree, uh, it's pretty quiet, um, there's, well, the reason for that is that the microphone's just too far away from my face, um, and the only real solution to that is to get a microphone boom stand, so I'm going to investigate that. Um, It, it's an investment and they're not 
cheap. I mean, they're not too expensive, but they're not cheap, certainly by any means. Um, and that's something that I have been looking into. I will continue to look into. Um, and for the time being, I will just pump up the volume of everything in post. Uh, that is a little bit loud still. There you go. Uh, yeah, and for the time being, I'm going to pump the volume of everything up. Uh, and hopefully that fixes it short term. Um, hopefully that will address some of the issues. Uh, hopefully. Okay, we're coming up to 90 miles an hour. That is cursed. Those noises. Those, those. Man, I'm f I can't talk. I'm f fucked. Right, up onto the quarry lines. Swap from the west side to the east side. Go over the other lines. And they have a little station in there, don't they? I think. Or am I being silly? No, I'm... I am being silly. Am I thinking of this? I must be thinking of that place. Oh, speeding! It's not very poggers, as the uh, youth would say. That's a bridge. That's a wall. Come on. Right, there are a few good screenshots in there. I should be able to rummage something out. Are we losing speed? It's in full power. It's not super steep. Oh, we're gaining slightly. Throw it into nightlight mode. I can see a bit further. Ah, that's really disconcerting seeing the tunnel load in all the way up there. Now, where are the other trains? I know I sent something up. Oh, did I send that one up the, uh, up the slow lines? Oh, it's going to be a slow journey on the Gatwick Express. That is for sure. Okay, there's 90. Can I seriously not fly over to the slow lines? Why is that not a thing? They're just there. Why, why is the invisible wall so close? Not even here? Come on, let me see. A bit more speed. It's going to pop through soon. Soon, I tell you, I'm being dragged down. There you go. And loading screen. Who doesn't love a good loading screen? Oh, let's uh, 
set that back up again. Bit of power. Oh, we're going straight into a tunnel. That was unnecessary. Oh, this one's got a bit of a low roof. Is that meant to be that low? Okay, and we'll go straight back up to 90 again. So you can re-emerge onto the main line. I mean, at least once we're up, up at speed, it's easy, uh, easy-ish to hold. I mean, the train's very clearly struggling to hold 90, especially going up hills. But thank fuck we're not doing a, a local service. That'd be so painful. Up, oh, speeding. Gonna leave it in nine percent power. We've got our approach to Gatwick coming up soon. Come on, don't glitch out on me. Stop bugging. Uh, this game keeps seizing up on me. Oh, that Gatwick Express has got caught up by this 700. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, the, the timetabling is not great. Shut up. I do like the running sounds. They they're quite nice. Um, probably not as good as um, Armstrong Powerhouse would have had it um, had they have set this uh, set the sounds up themselves. But what can you do, hey? What can you do? Make the most out of what you got. And I, on the whole, this is a good product. Um, that had the potential to be so 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 much more. Like, if we could drive on this route by default. Just ditch the support for <clears throat> certain devices, then it could very easily have been um, made to work. But no, we couldn't possibly do that. Okay, we're coming up to Gatwick Airport, so I'm going to throw it into full service break. So I believe I would be correct in saying that uh, the diverging routes have a pretty gnarly speed limit through them, maybe? Or is it just 60? Oh no, it's just 60. Oh, okay. Forgot about that. See, this feels slow now, but this is what I'd normally aim to hit platforms at, roughly. Okay, where is my eight car stop marker? There it is. Sailing past. Okay, and um, grab the doors. Yeah, not bad, I don't think. I don't think that was bad at all. 
for our first stop at Gatwick Airport. Uh, they get a bit more frequent um, after that. I mean, that was a pretty long stretch. That was almost half of the whole journey. And the um, next stretch is all the way down here. And then we stop at everything in between from that point on. Good old easy jet. Okay, and let's go. Straight up to 70. Let's see, how's our, how are other, how are, how are our other trains going? Ah, uh, not terrible. We've got, uh, yeah, 11 miles until Hayward Teeth, so. Should, uh, should be all right. At those speeds, we're doing maybe a mile and a half a minute, so 90 mph to mi per min. No, uh, shut up. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly one and a half miles a minute. I'm just a genius. I mean, it, yeah, it makes makes, yeah, okay, it makes perfect fucking sense now that I think about it. For more than two seconds. But uh, yeah, so this, once we get up to speed, maybe this won't take, this will take five minutes to go this bit. Because it's, it's not the, um, it's not the, the braking that takes long. Because that's the easy bit. It's the, uh, it's the acceleration that, uh, well, it's the hard part, but it's, it's much faster than the acceleration. It's just so blunt, they're so sluggish. go blasting through wherever this is red bridge or whatever it's called three bridges that's the one. Oh yeah of course because this is the uh the thameslink depot for the class 700 <coughs> we should all be full of class 700s <coughs> Oh, sorry, did something slip out there? Okay, very close to 90 now. 89. Be quiet. Oh, bit of speeding there. We won't talk about that. Oh, down to 80. That's controversial. There we go. 
go. Good braking. Okay, we'll cruise at 80 for a while. Leave it in about 43% power. That's good, son. That's not. Oh, speeding. There you go, we'll leave it in coast for now. And those trees look gnarly. Full power, get back up to 90. Yeah, this bit looks not very nice. Nidatal Barn really does... Um, really does shame all of these routes. Because the foliage on that is lovely. But uh, not so much here. Okay, running express. There's 90. No. It's pretty cool the platform going under the bridge, unless that's not how it actually is. Footbridge, very nice. Better than a crossing. I'll go 30... Okay, we'll go 40% power. Sure. Cool beans, brother. Just under three miles now from Haywards Heath. Coasting. Dingling. Where are our other trains? Oh. Yeah, just left. Oh, this is the cool bridge. See, this feels sl slow now. I've only been driving at this speed for... Not very long. Is there other 700? It's dressed up in the same pink livery. It's very cool. Shit camera angle. Now that audio is horrible. Be quiet. Okay, and at uh, half, oh, not half a mile. Should probably be now-ish. Go for a full brake application. Now pull it back to a 20% brake. Here's a... Uh, Three eight seven. Okay, coming up to the stop marker. Oh, another money, money stop. That was fantastic. 
for that braking camo. It's not perfectly smooth. I braked a little bit early, but that's very nice. Very proud of myself. I'm never going to forget the day I pulled off a flawless stop at Hayward Heath. Right, where's our next stop? Come on, stop lagging. So you skip that station, come straight to this one. Okay, and let's go. Right, 30 miles an hour. And 40. And we'll set our bright lights. And 50. Back to the days. So we just got Burgess Park, Hassox, and Preston Park before Brighton now, so shouldn't be too long. There's 60 miles an hour. coming up to 70. Are we going downhill? Oh yeah, I can tell. The acceleration's too good for this to be uh, on the level. Oh, God forbid, uphill. Okay, there's 80. Shut up. Oh, bollocks. Right, that's 75 again. Would be nice if, like every other train in the game, those alarms were sounded outside the cab, just so when you're sticky beaking outside the cab, that doesn't happen. That would be very nice. There's like German trains. I can't, I can't go outside the cab because then I can't read the signals. And if I can't read the signals, then I'm going to get tripped by fucking PZB or some shit. Okay, coming up to Burgess Hill, we might hold off a little bit, when I say we, I mean I, hold off a little bit longer until braking, do it now. See where that gets me. Looks good. Looks good. Come off the brakes a little bit. I suspect the stop mark is a bit short of the platform. Is it? Yeah, there it is. Come on, there you go. Another good stop. Wow, this is, I haven't even overshot yet. This isn't like me. I do like the livery though. 
it's very nice. It must have taken fucking forever to make though. Unless they did it and imported it somehow. But like all of these stripes, man, must have taken so long. So long. I mean, that looks a little bit clunky, but overall, I think I think it works well because the stripes have the uh, the white in between them. So I think it'd look more clunky if it was just stuck on because it sort of works well with the white. Uh, thanks, Anne, for that helpful safety advisory not to give people money if they don't look like they need money. Oh, that I distinctly remember being on a class uh, 378 um, just before Christmas when I was in the UK. I distinctly remember, like, every two minutes there'd be an announcement about not giving money to beggars but instead donating to some like white chapel mission i heard it so many times that it's ingrained into my mind white chapel mission which i sort of understand we have hardly any advisory safety advisory pre-recorded messages in sydney it's just like occasionally if you see something unattended um, what else is there? Oh, mind the gap. Uh, that's about it. On the platforms, they have stuff about holding your children. But other than that, it's free for all. Well, it's not. You just they make they give the guards something to do. Shout at the passengers. Tell you what, though, the guards, they've got a pretty easy job. I mean, they're paid, like, guards and drivers, they're paid paid—they're paid a reasonable amount So they, because they know what to do when things go wrong. That's where their expertise is, knowing how to recover potentially deadly situations with training. Because day to day, they don't need most of their training. Um, like, you don't need to know where the DRA isolation switch is if you're driving and there's absolutely no possibility that anything will ever go wrong ever. But that's not true. So you have to know it in case it goes wrong so that you don't cause a huge delay or, or whatever. Now, unfortunately, things do go wrong on Sydney's network quite often. Oh, I stopped a bit short here. Um, which is a thing in itself, but like most of the, t I, I saw a guard watching Netflix uh, on his phone whilst he was chilling in the rear cab in between stations. Which I mean, fair enough. What else are you gonna do? Um, they have radios in their cabs and the drivers, so the drivers and the guards can bang out some tunes whilst they're driving. Um, and sometimes they bring their own speakers so they can listen to their own music. <laughs> it's pretty lit, because, you know, the US, they have to have um, f phone lockers in the cabs that uh, like you can't access them when the train's turned on by law. Whereas here, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Here's your speaker, here's your phone, off you go, have a blast. There are some videos on YouTube of like drivers recording themselves driving with the stereo going on their own phone. Like they'll hold their phone up whilst they're driving. It's pretty pretty sick. It's so Australian. I love it. And like on the internet, they'll be, you know, like challenging each other on how fast they approach stations. It's so Australian and I love it disused sightings there wonder if we can thank a certain Dr. Beeching for this 
I presume this was quad tracked and got cut out, maybe, or if this was just a relief line that doesn't get used. No, it's definitely not wide enough for four tracks. Okay, you got five miles to Preston Park. Shut up. And then Brighton, which is like very close after. Still cruising up to 90. That is such a nice tunnel portal. It's a shame it looks shit. But that looks genuinely awful. Oh my god, this is... What's that? The tunnel has no no physics at all. Get the bright headlights on. These long tunnels are nice because they're, like, they're building a tunnel anyway, so I'll make it as straight as possible. Now this bit's quite got a lot of tunnels, doesn't it? Yeah, there's tunnels there. Seventy-five miles an hour. Wow. Okay, coming up to eighty. I'm gonna have a rant about it. I, I mean, I've been holding it in. I really want a fucking Sydney route in this game. I know I'm gonna sound like one of those eight-year-olds. Oh well, I'd like my local line. But it'd just be so fucking cool. They've got such cool trains. Uh, even if they are put in China. it got such nice trains. it got such cool infrastructure. It's so unique. It's very busy. It's very interesting. Um, and they're, they're, like, world famous. Like, it's not, like, if they made the routes, they would sell, like, fucking fire. Because it's, you just... Have a picture of the fucking Harbour Bridge and a train going over it. They drive a train over the over the bridge, and it's like you get so many sales. Are you kidding? You get so many sales. If you can sell trains in World Three, basically only off having wow, this is fast, look, speed and long, then surely you can get kids to go. Oh wow, look, Sydney Harbour Bridge, Sydney Opera House. Wow, wow, wow. Double decker train. Oh, that's a 75 limit, of course. But unfortunately, unless focus give them a lot more capital to pursue that kind of stuff, they are um, not going to fly a dev team out to do route building and shit. Which is very unfortunate. I mean, unless a third-party dev team hops in. And if there is, let me know, because I'll be very happy to join. I don't know what I'd add, though. Media? <laughs> Just call myself a media person. It's not even slightly true. Um, I don't know, I could get information. If I put my mind to it, I reckon I could learn how to use a Unreal Engine. If I put my mind to it, which is a whole other question. Oh, switching tracks. Oh, switching tracks again. Man, scenario design is whack. Oh, I was on nights that whole time. Bit of a release. Rest of the release. 
doors full breaks. So what's our route? Are we swapping all the what we're swapping back to these lines? So they pulled us into this side platform and then it's gonna throw us straight back onto the other platform. What's the fucking point? What's the point? My god. It pulled us all the way over to this side and they're gonna send us all the way back. Tut, tut, tut. No, it's this this busy to have literally, uh, this windy to have howling wind. Right, let's get going. That is very quiet now. It's almost no gain volume. Okay, that's better. It's hard to balance with uh, my low audio and then high speed run sounds. But now that we're um, just in the little bit at the end, I think, I think it's okay. I think I can bump the volume up a bit. No way this turnout is 75. No, okay. Okay, and there's our white diamond coasting board. Yeah, I'll just chill here. Double yellow, bit of AWS action. There we go, sunflower. Forty limits. There's a Lover's Road Depot? I think that, yeah, Lover's Road Depot. Okay, this has our theatre indication for six. There we go, 25. Cruising straight into Brighton. Have a quick screenshot, preferably without poles in them. Lovely Brighton station. creep all the way up. Grab the doors. And that is that. Very nice. Very nice. Let's have a walk around. I haven't been to Brighton in in game, obviously. I don't think I've ever been to Brighton IRL. Uh, I haven't been this in the game for so long. It's a very nice station. Tickets, pay by card, collect prepaid tickets. Choose your ticket using the touch Attention, screen. Attention, please. Whoa. This is a public announcement. Criminals are known to operate in this area. For your own safety, <laughs> Criminals are known to operate in this area. That's really reassuring. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, um, let me know and uh, like. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.